A mega-Earth is a massive terrestrial exoplanet that is at least ten times the mass of Earth. Mega-Earths are substantially more massive than super-Earths terrestrial and ocean planets with masses around 5 to 10 Earths. The term, mega-Earth, was coined in 2014, when Kepler 10c was revealed to be a Neptune mass planet with a density considerably greater than that of Earth. However, it has since been determined to be a typical volatile rich planet. Examples <laughs> 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 Kepler 10c was the first exoplanet to be classified as a mega Earth. At the time of its discovery, it was believed to be around 17m and 2.3r, giving it a high density that implied a mainly rocky composition. However, several follow up radial velocity studies produced different results for Kepler 10c's mass, all much below the original 17m estimate. In 2017, a more careful analysis using data from multiple different telescopes and spectrographs found that Kepler 10c is more likely around 7.4 m, making it a typical volatile rich mini Neptune and not a mega Earth. K256b, also designated BD 20594b, is a much more likely mega Earth, with about 16 m and 2.2 r. At the time of its discovery in 2016, it had the highest chance of being rocky for a planet its size, with a posterior probability that it is dense enough to be terrestrial at about 0.43. For comparison, at the time Kepler 10c had a proxy of 0.1, and Kepler 131b has a proxy of 0.002. Kepler 145b is the most massive planet classified as a mega Earth, with a mass of 37.1 m and a radius of 2.65 r, so large that it could belong to a subcategory of mega Earth known as supermassive terrestrial planets (SMTP). It likely has an Earth-like composition of rock and iron without any volatiles. A similar mega-Earth, K266b, is about 21.3 times the mass and 2.49 times the radius of Earth, and orbits a subgiant star. Its composition appears to be mainly rock with a small iron core and a relatively thin steam atmosphere. See also BD plus 20594b